In America, I have to say that I will do this and I will do that. I swear I'm not a socialist, even though I really am. Oh, hey, hey, Joe. Looks like Mike won't get it done. Joe Biden. Joe Biden's favorite food is pasta. What American? I mean, he's, he's, he's gonna lead our country, possibly? His favorite food is pasta? Hey, Joe, Joe, I got, I got a question for me. You ever heard of a burger? Steak? Pizza? You ever heard of those? Potatoes? You ever heard of that, Joe? I don't think you have. I think you were born in Italy. I don't think you're an American citizen. I think you're lying to the country. You are lying. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. You, let's say you're coming home from work one day. Long day trying to get home to the family. The family wants you home. The family is also hungry. Are you going to stop by McDonald's? Where you can get a burger with some protein, some fries. Get that for the family. Nice and cheap. Made for the whole family. $20, $25. Not terrible. Or are you going to stop and wait and spend 45 minutes at an Olive Garden and wa waste your time and your money for some pasta? For some pasta. Joe, Joe, this is America. We eat steak. We eat burgers. Potatoes. Not pasta. Get that out of here. Joe Biden has an olive tattoo. You heard it here first. He has an olive tattoo. The media never covered it. Never. Joe Biden has never drinking alcohol. Not once in his entire life. Where has this man been? College, high school, middle school, elementary, even kindergarten. All right, where has he been his entire life? You know, I don't think Joe Biden has ever even felt the warm embrace of alcohol on his hand. He does not use hand sanitizer if he is not drinking alcohol. I think alcohol does not exist for this man. He has not used hand sanitizer once in his life. That has not been covered by the media at all. There's been articles written, but it's been taken down. You know why? Because Joe Biden doesn't like alcohol. It's never been on his system. People have tried putting alcohol on his body, but his body rejects it. It has never been done. Alcohol does not exist for Joe Biden. And finally, Joe Biden brings a rosary with him everywhere he goes for good luck. Now, 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 this, this may seem innocent, completely innocent. But think about it. This is a country where freedom of religion is a thing. Freedom of religion. It already says in the Pledge of Allegiance under God, but it's freedom of religion. The Pledge of Allegiance is forcing religion. You're gonna have a president forcing religion? Cause he has his rosary? You know, you know, I went to Catholic school, okay? You don't wanna go. You wanna wear a uniform every day of your life? You, you want crappy classes that every day begin with a prayer service? Every month, the first Friday, you have to go to Mass, sit in the bleachers, watch some big white-robed guy walk down the red aisle and start praying to you. Do you want that? Do you want that? Do you want a priest in your school at all times? You don't. You don't want it. You just don't want it. Now, I don't really stand anywhere with Joe Biden. I really don't. I don't really care about Joe Biden. I don't really care about Trump. It's not where I stand. It's Ex just not my type of work. Exactly. I don't, st I don't, yeah, I don't care about it. Well, how about this? How about you join us next week? Because if you're not convinced that Joe Biden isn't overrated, how about we convince you next week that pens are overrated? So the question we're addressing is, are pens overrated? Find out next week.